Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. So let's jump in. Spirits, angels, guides messages for Scorpio. Let's start with Scorpio. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio spirit? Okay, we have poetic justice. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Difficult decision. Who or what is coming towards And moving forward, I swear, Scorpio. <laughs> Every single time that I have, like, or lately, actually, um, Scorpios just have this, uh, like, ongoing message of moving forward, um, of having justice. Um, this is a difficult decision. So whoever's coming towards you, Scorpio, maybe they're the ones that are making a difficult decision to move forward. But I feel like for a lot of you, this could be your energy. Um... I feel like justice is here to rebalance or to have something be fair to you. And I think that's because things have not been fair to you when it comes to love. So let's see. What else do we need to know for Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio's spirit? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Six of Cups. Wow, the Lovers and the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay. This is what's coming towards you, Scorpio, and it looks good to me. Um, but, you know, I just heard not what it seems. So, let's see. Um, I feel like this could be a, a soulmate connection, a very strong connection here with the Six of Cups and the Lovers. Gemini Energy. And I feel like there's an opportunity coming towards you. Let's see. Tell me about the Six of Cups. If this is not a soulmate connection, this could be someone from the past or a past life connection. But we'll see. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords. I knew it. <laughs> I know why. You know, it's almost like you sometimes doubt, like, why you get certain messages. Um, I don't know if there are any other readers watching, but sometimes you kind of, like, doubt yourself a little bit uh but then spirit always confirms <laughs> so okay six of cups okay i have so many temperance page of cups seven of swords so i feel like this is sagittarius energy this to me seems like part of the rebalancing that's happening here judgment at the bottom of the deck yeah this could be an apology scorpio coming in because someone possibly didn't treat you right or there was some sort of deception here or an imbalance, right? I feel like, yeah, someone here is having a wake-up call or learning from their mistakes um, with judgment. Yeah. Can I get one more for a page of cups? I want have one more, please. Is there an insight into this page of cups? You have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So it's going to be very direct conversation here. Um, can I get one more for this Page of Cups? Very direct, honest. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. This is someone that's like, I'm sorry, things have not been the same without you. I'm getting a message of someone that has been missing you. Um, and even though it might be hard to approach you, they're going to try to come correct. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. What's this lovers about? Well, I keep getting multiple cards. The Fool and the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands. 
the Knight of Swords. I feel like someone desires you, um, desires a new beginning with you, but there's, I feel like this is guilt, actually, this Nine of Swords, guilt, anxiety. I wonder why there's guilt, probably because of what happened between you. Tell me about this Nine of Swords for Scorpio. Can you get one more for this Nine of Swords for Scorpio? I just heard best behavior. Yeah, this person is going to be on their best behavior. They're overwhelmed, I feel, emotionally. With the Ten of Wands here, the Nine of Swords. I have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck and Justice. Yeah, it's like they want to talk things out and leave our energy with a Justice card. Or maybe tell you about this new clarity or the fact that they're making a decision here based off of logic and clarity and... and, and um objectivity you know this is someone that's looking at all sides of a situation and seeing things very clearly but i feel like the past is um is a struggle here or or a barrier um yeah almost like um an obstacle tell me about the ace of pentacles queen of wands can i get one more please there for the ace of pentacles ten of cups this person is very attracted to you. There's something about you that is almost like a magnet. And it's almost like, um, yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. There is like an almost like an obsession. Um, this person is really tied to you, bound to you. Can I get one more for the devil? And it's almost like an unhealthy um, regard. Emperor energy, Aries energy. Yeah, and they, they want to do something about this. It, it's really strange. Five of Wands. They want to do something about this, this conflict between you. They have no idea how it's going to go. Seven of Wands. Um, not Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. But they still want to go for it. Knight of Wands after that. Two of Cups after the Knight of Wands. Because there's an attraction to you. Or to this connection, like a like a thread. Even though they're scared of the outcome here, I feel like they still want this opportunity with you. They want a happy ending with you. And I, for some reason, I just keep picking up this thread of like, or this energy. I guess I should say it's easier to explain um, that it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a risk here with the Fool, with this Queen of Swords, with the Four of Cups. I, like, and then I feel like the Seven of Swords as well is like they need to be extra clever, strategic, you know, because it's not going to be easy. Let's see what we can get about this person. Spirit, tell me about this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with. Tell me about this person Scorpio is or will be dealing with. House number 20. Let's look at that. I'm still learning this deck because every card has like three meanings. Okay, this card can can um, indicate stability, security, a strong, steady relationship. This could be an actual house, apartment, home, real estate. This could be a building. It can represent safety, family, coziness, security, the things you hold and that hold you. So what I'm getting here is like you are home to this person. Can I get one more? It's almost like with you they feel safe. Why am I getting this? I, I read the description of this card. You know, 
a house, a home, an actual building. It could be that they're coming to your house um, as well. But the main message I'm getting is that you are home. You are safe to this person. Yeah, child, innocence. There's something special about you, Scorpio. And I know that this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like I'm getting messages that aren't here. <laughs> um, child is a card about beginnings, innocence, new. Even though there's a child, that's why I'm saying this deck is kind of um, it's a challenging deck. I love it, but it is challenging because every card means so many different things. So the child card is innocence, naivete, the new, the simple, and the small. Um, it could indicate child, children, your childhood, or your inner child. In many cases, it shows a new beginning. A new project, a new job, or a new love. <laughs> you see, there's like so many, so many um, uh, messages. It represents a fresh start, something new. So I feel like they want something new with who they feel safest with, which is you. Can I get one more? About this person that Scorpio is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? About this person that Scorpio is dealing with. We have Sagittarius, which is a temperance card and fun, outgoing and lively. Okay, so that's a King of Wands. There's a Libra card, Justice, at the bottom of the deck. So this person could have Sagittarius in their chart. I feel like they're very, um, I feel like they're, I don't think this person is fun, outgoing, or lively. They could be, but the main message I'm getting with this King of Wands is like they're. This is how they're going to present themselves to you. Like, like they want to put on like a good, um, a, they want to make a good impression. That's the message that I'm getting. Like they want to impress you and they want to take you out, have fun. Basically, they want to kind of like bring back the happy times, the happy memories. Okay, let me see. What, what does the tarot say? Let's ask the tarot. Because I feel like this may be a very specific reading, but I think this is someone that's putting their best best face forward or, um, you know, they're on their best behavior for a reason. Spirit, tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? Let's see what the tarot says. What do we need to know about this person? The devil, Capricorn energy. What do we need to know about this person? Oh, the five of swords. I have the two of cups, nine of cups, king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Okay, so this person, okay, I can understand where the obsession, obsession comes from. It's like a desperate energy. This is somebody that does not want to lose you. Clarify, please, spirit, the devil. Knight of Pentacles, best behavior. Can I get one more, please? Or some insight, please, into the devil and the five of swords. This person lost you once, and they don't want to lose you again. Six of Swords. There's that moving forward. Tell me about the Devil and the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Devil and the Five of Swords. Yep. Can I get one more? The Emperor, Aries Energy. Can I get one more, please, for Scorpio? The tower yeah this person they have a very difficult decision to make yeah look at this two of swords seven of cups two of wands I feel like this difficult decision is because they probably have a tower that they have to like that needs to happen in their life they have to leave a situation in order to win you back I feel they're coming to you with this offer, with this Knight of Pentacles. Where's all of this headed? 
Where's all of this headed for Scorpio? To me, this is very clear energy. Um, this is someone that lost you and they they failure is not an option and i think this is like an ongoing message i've gotten for scorpios um scorpio check out your playlist if you're new to my channel or perhaps if you want a refresher check my playlist for scorpio and there's so many readings recent readings there that are kind of in the same vein as this reading where is all of this headed nine of wands where's all of this headed Four of Cups. Where is all of this headed, Spirit? King of Cups. So what I'm getting here is um, uh, you might not trust this person. Um, there might be a guarded energy here between, like, there's something about this that might seem off to you because maybe you're not expecting this from this person. Um... This person can see only you and their intuition is guiding them here. Um, they're heartbroken by what has happened. Yeah, look at this, the Knight of Swords after that. This person is very heartbroken about what happened. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What's this Nine of Wands about? The Hangman. This could also be your person, yeah. This could be your person. Um, whatever they they've been going through without you, I don't think they're giving up. Despite the despite the past, even if you're guarded, um, even if there's trust issues, even if there's been baggage between you, oh my goodness, ten of swords, yeah. This person's having an ending in their life. There's a two of wands. But the ending has to happen in order to balance something here with the Six of, of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. I got one more for this Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is an, an this is being, uh, this person is being spiritually, spiritually guided. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages. I think also this is happening behind the scenes, Scorpio. I don't think you know that this is happening because there's no action from this person. This is just kind of how someone is thinking about a situation. Tell me about this Four of Cups. This person, I think when they think about offering you this cup, they think you're going to reject them possibly here. Let's see. Tell me about the Four of Cups. The Magician. I don't think that's going to stop them. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's doubt here, but they're still going to go for it with the Magician. They're still going to make it happen, even if it takes them time. They know that when they come and when they approach you, that you're not going to be um, probably really happy to see them. <laughs> um, tell me if that's the case, Scorpio. If this person were to show up tomorrow and tell you that they want to talk, that they have something to tell you, would you be open to hearing from them? What if they were like really honest, really uh, uh, serious? I don't think this person has treated you the best in the past. So, you know, I don't blame you. Oh, there could have been a third party. But I think this is more like them coming together, coming to see you. Let's meet up. Let's talk. Um, let's reunite. Tell me about the King of Cups. I think there's still love here. Tell me about the King of Cups. Eight of Wands, yeah, they could be telling you how they feel, opening themselves, like opening their heart to you. What's this? Justice, yeah, because they want to make things right. Tell me more about this King of Cups. I don't know, um, I, I got the message just now that this person isn't usually open with their feelings. They're usually like this. But like I said, failure is not an option. Whatever it takes. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. Whatever it takes to come in from out of the cold to get out of this energy of the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, I'm going to bring a big offer if I need to. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, to me, it's just such a clear reading. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, 
leaving me a comment. Um, it's a great way to support my channel for free. It tells YouTube that you are interested in my channel and that you enjoy the videos and that you wanna keep watching. Um, and it shows my videos to other people as well in case they want to come check out what I do. <laughs> so thank you to everyone that does that, that likes, subscribes, comments. I really appreciate it. Feel free to tell me in the comments if this resonated for you, if you got something out of this reading,